is we are making what is the weather what is the crop condition and under this weather and crop condition what should be the advisories that we are generating uh, at district level now now just a uh, you know uh, you know it's not coming uh, we are using different media once you get uh, this kind of advisory then we are doing all the possible media to disseminate to the uh, farming community and most of dissemination will be uh, for newspaper uh, sms call center whatever maybe and this is the wide spectrum how we are disseminating because we feel that whatever information we are generating until unless it go to the farmers then uh the information dissemination i'll just go through which are the companies we have already making in the ppp model uh, you see these are the companies nokia tools then iksl andigo uh, then reuters all uh, around 7 to 8 uh, companies already we are doing and if you see the figure 2.5 million farmers uh, twice in a week they are getting this kind of informations and we have a target that by end of december it will be around 3 million uh, so uh, we are uh, this kind of things we are uh, you know depending on the service provider and this is these are the proposed you know uh, we are uh, interacting with uh, other service provider in this aspect so that at least we can have the dozens of uh, you know service provider uh, so that we can disseminate this informations to the farmer and uh, we have uh, with uh, tata consultancy services we make Uh, some kind of export uh, console and uh, we have trying to give them alert system you know by uh, mobile and through our server how a farmers can get a uh, alert system uh, with based on the our uh, you know uh, i mean weather observatory uh, this alert will be coming to him this way uh, based on that uh, uh, i means automatically it will generate automatically uh, with the algorithms and immediately farmers because the uh, the quickest way we give the informations farmer will act on that and this is the kind of informations we are trying to give uh, we are uh, uh, plan that we can give that uh, in in mobile that satellite pictures even also in a uh, block level village level uh, we give that you know we are giving that automatic weather stations data which we are getting every one hour, uh, one hour interval that data will be accessible to the uh, means mobile and we will be giving also the products means if any particular districts uh, is is infested by any disease or maybe irrigation it will be coming into the mobile so there will be range of you know informations will be coming in the mobile uh, another maybe one or one and a half year uh, then will be there will be no dot of information only the thing is that how to disseminate this informations as a very customized format by the and we are depending on the feedback which i was talking to last two days that feedback is very important that's why in parvani in maharashtra we are trying to make online feedback from the farmers we have targeted 50 farmers and once we give the informations to them immediately we are getting the uh, this uh, feedback to our uh, console so that immediately we can react on that so we are giving more stress on the feedback mechanism yeah uh, next uh, uh, as to only one or two slides uh, that what we have uh, giving the emphasis on dit's concept that common service center because one service center will take care of five villages and if uh, we can you know uh, integrate our system with a common service system i think the days is not too far that uh, each and every village of the country will get all the informations maybe the accuracy of the informations will will take time but uh, maybe another 3 4 years uh, we will see a different india uh, where the knowledge informations uh, and technology will combine together and we will have a very you know what we are talking about second green revolution i think we are not very far from that so this is our future plan in 12 5 year plan what i was i was talking everything we have taken care by with the uh, ministry of arts science and with agriculture ministry though so that we will do each and everything at the village level with all the mobile service and technology with all your cooperation thank you thank you what is the response from the farmers can you give a life story of a farmer who has been benefited by your program 
Yeah, uh, because actually this is a paucity of time I could not show. What we are doing actually, the, I have uh, showed you that 130 centers we have. So each center we are having 100 targeted farmers who are always we are interacting with them. But you know uh, what we have experienced because 100 farmers is nothing when you compare to the whole country. Then we are getting the feedback that this kind of when they are uh, you know uh, in a morning time or evening time they are assembled in some places. So they are communicating this information to the uh, remaining farmers. So it's a overwhelming responses are there. But still you know uh, we are far away from the uh, target definitely. And that's why we're working very hard on the feedback mechanism. Then only we can done. And then uh, seven and eight organizations we have, I mean, uh, uh, integrated our system, which I showed the proposed, uh, or, uh, I mean, service provider. If you can make, I think more farmers will be clubbed together. But responses are very nice, you know. Thank you. Can we have uh, I have uh, one very short uh, question and one uh, comment. The question is that uh, you have some uh, good deal of historical data. Okay. We have you have very good deal of historical data about the climatic conditions and uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research already also uh, measuring the crop production and, uh, and, they, uh, and they have a surveillance on the insect and uh, pest incidents, uh, disease incidences. Is there any way to collect, compile all these things and then apply data mining to come up with a model of uh, effect of climate change on uh, pest and disease behavior? Is government is thinking in this line? Uh, yeah, actually there are two aspects are there. One, one thing is that, uh, you know, uh, what we are trying to do uh, on, uh, on current uh, uh, situation is like that. We are in touch with PPQS, Plant Protection and Quantum Storage, because they are the defined body in the ministry. Uh, we are interacting with them and getting their qualitative information because they are moving a different, uh, defined paths in the, in the country. So they are giving the information to us. And we, uh, because we have already developed, means, uh, you know, in ICR, Agriculture Ministry, that what is the sensitivity? Means a particular temperature, that data we have. Uh, if uh, it is algorithm is fit, another sensitivity study on both the things. Second thing is the climate change study. Yes, uh, you know, this, this we have not done. But uh, we have the, you know, 100 years data with us, instrumental data. And if ministry can, uh, you know, uh, they can uh, combinedly, we can collaborate. And I think something is possible, joint effort by climate change on pest and disease infestation. Other a small suggestion is that uh, since you are mentioning about PPP with uh, uh, mobile operators, these mobile operators have plenty of uh, BTS in the, all the different locations which are having a physical infrastructure plus the power facility. Is there any way of uh, you can think of I mean uh, putting a small weather station in that towers so along with that you get actually can multiply the number of uh, data uh, collection points without investing anything because that will be a part of the PPP providing the infrastructure power and the mini weather station. Right. Actually, in fact, uh, we are coming in a big way up, uh, as per the observation is concerned. One is that which I have mentioned, you know, that uh, our modernization. Another thing is that another organizations came that uh, W2 